Kimmy from Empress Moon Tarot 777. Welcome to my channel today. If you are brand new to my channel, very happy to have you here. All information that you need while you are here at the channel is usually down in the description box below. There's information on the cards that I use in the spreads as well as how to order a personal reading, how to donate to the channel if that's of interest to you, and also how to find the extended readings for the readings that you're watching. So look down below in the description box if you need information. Also, I just wanted to take a brief moment to let everybody know that as of yesterday, I have opened up the live personal readings trial. Um, I'm offering personal readings, 15 minute personal readings, plus a five minute Q&A session immediately following. Um, they're available on my website, empressmontero.com. So please be sure to visit there to schedule your reading. This allows me to connect with you more one-on-one, -on -one, and it will also allow you to, to ask me questions immediately following the reading, which I know many of you have questions afterwards. These readings are general readings, so they're not going to be in-depth or specific to um, specific circumstances. If you're looking for something a little bit more in-depth, there are personal readings on the site there as well that might be of interest to you. So, welcome back all my old subscribers. Hope you like the new location. I'm uh, not sure how long we'll be in this location, but for right now, I like the fact that it's a little bit different from what I'm used to, and uh, hopefully y'all will like it as well. So uh, welcome, welcome back. For those of you that have not yet subscribed to the channel, there is a link right down below or a button right down below for you to subscribe so that you can stay informed of when I upload new videos. And while you are all here, please don't forget to hit that like button, that thumbs up button for me. It helps this video to get out to others that might also be in need. So without any further ado, let's get on to your reading. Hello, welcome to the Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising sign reading for August 15th through the 21st. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to any cross watchers as well. Please keep in mind that this can go vice versa. At any point in time, you're welcome to swap the characters in our story. As this is a general reading, please take the parts that do resonate, but leave the parts that don't. And don't try to force your personal situation to meet the cards. If it doesn't resonate at all, just take a look at your other birth chart placements. Taurus, let's see what we have for you. All right, Taurus, 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 Taurus. We have Temperance and we have the Chariot. I feel like these are outside of our reading. I'm going to set them aside. We'll, we'll deal with those in just a moment. King of Swords, Ace of Wands. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is beautiful. I know it does not look like it is, but it is. Page of Wands and the Sun. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. This is you standing in your power or dealing with somebody who is. Um, I feel like the Empress is you, Taurus, whether you're male or female does not matter. I feel like, you know, things are starting to take take hold in your life. You're starting to see an abundance of, you know, within your career as well as abundance and love, abundance in other areas. Um, the Empress, you know, is very, very, very grounded. And I feel like she just kind of like sits back and, and lets things come to her. Um, we do see that with regards to a love situation, there may be a second chance, but we're not really focusing on that here in this particular weekly spread. But it looks like that may have been something that recently came up. You're trying to give somebody a second chance. It might not have worked out because we have that um, two of pentacles kind of like juggling situations. At the very center of your spread, we have this ton of swords energy. This is you releasing some of the mental anguish you've been carrying around for some time, Taurus. See the light coming in over the horizon. All of these things that have been coming at you from different areas of your life, you're now able to release some of the mental anguish because you can see the sunlight coming over the horizon. You can see the beautiful new beginning coming your way, which is wonderful. So we have our page of wands here. I don't, 
you know, we have a we have a five card spread, but it feels like it feels like it's out of order. And so I have to go with what what spirit's expressing to me. We have the page of page of wands showing the page of wands is showing that once you release this mental anguish, you may have some creative, passionate new idea, this direction you're wanting to go in. It could be a project you're already working on that you're you're getting this new exuberance for but it's something that you're holding on to very very strongly something that makes you just feel a tremendous excitement and passion and enthusiasm this is you also being very action oriented and driving towards this particular thing well here we have our page of wands holding the wand being that messenger of the new passionate beginning and here we have the new creative idea the new passionate start the new beginning not really sure if this has to do with love for you yet taurus we'll know that in the extended um but we do have you communicating with somebody in a very strong manner openly honestly and directly communicating your needs your desires your the direction you wish to go in in your life we have the sun here. I feel like this is the birth of something new. It's the birth of the new idea, the birth of the new direction, the passionate new start here. It's the birth of a new situation, a new dream, a new goal. Um, it's something that you're super excited about. You, you may have been like walking around telling everybody about that. See the fanfare here, you know? fanfare you may have been expressing this to a lot of people super excited very happy about it it's not quite move getting moving yet it's just at the beginning stages because we also have this need for patience and this lack of movement towards that victory lap so here we have a horse that's kind of like you know trotting along this little pony and then we have a chariot that's like take a step forward take a step back take a step forward take a step back you're stationary stationary and there's a need for patience i feel like you're losing your patience with the situation taurus this new start this new direction this new project this new goal this new idea you're wanting to move quickly you're feeling a sense of impatience you're wanting to take action you're wanting it to move forward you're wanting it to move forward but here you are you're like trying to get to the bottom of things trying to work things out trying to trying to formalize a direction, a plan. It's just not happening yet. <laughs> not happening. But you're still telling people all about this great new idea because you're really excited about it. All right, let's see what we got here, Taurus. Taurus. Softly, softly, the tender touch. Okay, I think this is really important here, Taurus. Now, if you're dealing with a love situation, somebody is needing you to not be so forceful. Um, they're needing for you to be a little bit more tender in your communication with them and in your actions towards them. Um, it's possible that somebody in your life, it could be friend, family, situation, is in need of you to tone down that, that Taurus tenacious, you know, goal attitude. Um... It, it could also be that there's such a drive and a desire to see this moving forward that your impatience is coming forth and somebody's needing you to kind of just take a step back and, and move a little bit softly and slowly. We'll know more about that and extend it as well. All right, what's going on for Taurus? Ooh, with regards to love, that was quick and easy. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, we do see that here. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with one another. So if this is a love situation, you're in need of communicating. There's also a need for forgiveness here. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're having to forgive this person for something they have done, but you're needing to forgive somebody in your life because it is causing a roadblock with you um, with regards to love. So, Taurus, we have a lot of energies going on in the next week. Uh, definitely open, honest communication, creative ideas, passionate movement, um, a sense of feeling um, impatient as a result that things are not moving quickly. 
that impatience could turn into kind of a headstrong type of behavior. So do be sure to take a step back and uh, be a little bit more tender with your friends, family, and loved ones. All right, Taurus, for those of you that are going to be joining me over on Vimeo, there is a link in the description box below. We will deep dive into this, see if we can figure out what this is that Spirit's trying to talk to you about. If it resonates with you, you already know. Um, for those of you that are not coming over to Vimeo, thank you for your time. Truly appreciate having you here at the channel. Please be sure to click subscribe so that you can stay notified when I upload new videos. And please be sure to hit that thumbs up button so this video can get out to more people who might be in need. Thank you for your help with that. All right, Taurus, let's head over to Vimeo and find out what's going on. All right. 